What's going on guys, this is Bunny Muffins. I know a lot of people have been confused about the big dragon eggs that they are getting at the start of each game. So in this meta snapshot, I'm gonna go over how the meta has changed based on getting those eggs. So, so let's just get into the summary right now. So in the S tier, we have Enchanters, which is kind of like a new comp, not really, but I'm gonna separate it out for now because I think it is by far the best. And then Innovators are also a solid second choice. This week, the S and A tiers are actually pretty close together, and then there's a bit of a drop off in the B tiers. But pretty much anything S and A tiers, I would gladly play in pretty much every one of your games. So continuing on in the A tier, I think the best comp to climb with right now is Talon Assassins. They're just really easy to play, and they are very solid. After that, Draven got a huge buff, so he bumped up to the A tier, uh, maybe even borderline S tier, depending on how good you are with it. And then after that, Socialite plus Carry is still solid. And then Mutants are often played with great results. They're kind of like the biggest like go big or go home comp right now because it depends on what mutant trait there is. Now moving on into the B tier, we have Renata Bruisers. You could also do like Scholar Renata, Ash Reroll, Scrap, Arcanist, Snipers, Chemtech Challengers. This one's really interesting because if you get a bunch of spatulas and go for like seven Chemtech, this comp is really strong. If not, it kind of isn't as good and then after that you have strikers now in the c tiers these are what i would call like the do not plays and when i say do not play that doesn't mean like never ever ever play but maybe play them in one percent of your games or something like that so reroll brand syndicate ra twitch reroll twin shots hex tech and reroll corky or yordles they're just really lacking right now compared to all the other comps and that's why i have them really really low unless you get like 50 spatulas for them or something like that I would just avoid them. But let's get into the comps. Oh, by the way, guys, before I get onto that, we are doing a 200 TFT egg giveaway on Twitter. So click this link right here. I'll leave one in the description below as well. But essentially, we're giving away 200 eggs, 20 eggs per winner for 10 winners. And you just have to like the tweet, retweet it, and then also follow me at Bunny Muffins, LOL. But back into the comps, we're going to run down how to play each and every one of these. So Enchanters, this is the comp of the week, as I mentioned before. You're going to be doing a flex carry between Orianna and Senna. It really depends on what items you're guessing. I actually focus more on Morgana's items. So Orianna, she likes having AP and mana items, such as a Spear, Shojin, and Hat. So if you get those, go for her. If not, reroll for Senna 3-star. And for her, you like the attack damage and attack speed items such as Infinity Edge, Last Whisper, and Giant Slayer. One interesting thing to also do is put Redemption on Lulu because she heals your entire backline with the Redemption. And the reason why this comp is doing so good right now is because they recently nerfed Morello Namicon, so all the healing you have from Enchanters, it's just not being stopped by anything. So that's why they're so good right now. Uh, so the way to play this comp, there are two ways to do it. You could either do standard leveling and go for Orianna carry, or do a reroll at level 7 for Senna 3 and Morgana 3. Again, it just depends on whether you're getting attack damage or ability power items. But that's pretty much the gist of the comp. So the main core is going for the 4 enchanters plus socialite. And then I like adding in Jace and Zillion for Clockwork and Innovator, but these two units can literally be anything that's 2 star that has anything remotely to do with your team. Moving on into the next build, we have Innovators. The best version right now, I think, is the Jin Innovators or the Senna Innovators. So they do share some units with uh, some of the units up here in the previous comp. But in the Innovator version, you're focusing more on the Dragon. You're trying to go 5 Innovator. And Jin is going to be your main carry with Jace as your secondary until you get him to 2 star. And this comp, still pretty solid. You're also running 3 Enforcer, which is really good against certain comps. Uh, but this is the same old tried and true that we've been playing for the past couple of weeks. Standard leveling, of course, because you're playing for 4 costs and 5 cost carries. Uh, but moving on into the A tier Talon reroll, I think this is the best comp to climb with right now. The comp we have here is running 4 assassins with 3 debonair as the main traits. You could also swap out some of the assassins such as Twitch for Kha'Zix if you get him in the late game. But since we are doing a 2 cost reroll, we generally don't really reach that later part of the game. So this is a core that I like to use right now. But the reason why this comp is really good to climb with is because it is very easy to play. You simply just slow roll for Talon at level 6 and get him 3 star. If you get Syndra, Blitzcrank, or any of the other guys to 3 star, great. If not, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but a lot of people, they don't know how to play against assassins. They're not positioned correctly against them. 
And pretty much since you know who you are going to be facing every turn, you just look on the right hand side of your screen to see who you're facing. They have like a little sword icon in game and then you just position for those people. Moving on into the next build, we have Clockwork Draven. So Draven, lots of different builds you can do with him as per usual, but right now I think Clockwork is the best build right now. It's not really the five debonair one. We are only running three debonair, but the Clockworks do definitely help him get a lot of attack speed going. I've also seen challenger versions of going like six challenger draven work out pretty well for some people but really it's the attack speed stat that we are really looking for right now i believe his attack damage got buffed in the recent patch so it really does make a lot of sense that you complement that with the attack speed traits so the core of this build are the four clockworks we have camille oriana Jin, and zillion and then after that debonair is a no-brainer because draven's a debonair so we have the leona and zeri there and then for the last unit we add in a brahm just because he's a bodyguard pretty much oriana and brahm right now they're played in every comp they're like the two most splashable units right now i would say as for items for draven he can run all sorts of different things he could run runons i think is the best item Last Whisper, Infinity Edge, Bloodthirster, Rage Blade, Giant Slayer, all of them are just fine and dandy. You could also use Jin as a secondary carry because he is still going to be hitting hard with the four clockwork in this comp. Uh, of course, standard leveling because you're going for four cost carries. We have one, two, three, four of them right now. And you just slowly transition into this comp over time. You could also play a lot of different versions. You don't have to go four clockwork. You can stay at two and just run any two stars that you hit throughout the game. So even though this comp is good, I would say it's a little hard to play, but if you just hard force this version, you're still going to be doing pretty well, which is a unique position for Draven in this patch right now. Because in the previous videos, I've been saying like, oh, only play Draven if you really know how to play him. But now, even if you don't know how to play him, you could still get pretty good results. And if you do, you can obviously get even better ones. So onto the next build, we have Socialite plus Carry. Lots of different carries you can use as per usual. Kazakh, Senna, Lucian... Aurelia, Kaisa, uh, other random legendaries can be used. Right now, I think the best ones are either Aurelia, Kha'Zix, or Senna. Reason behind that is because, well, Socialite Aurelia has always been the core carry, but Senna is just really good right now because, again, all the enchanters are doing like a lot of healing, so there are a lot of enchanter socialite builds. It's pretty much like the same four enchanter build that we saw before, except we're adding in like a couple Arcanists here, and you can kind of flex the carry spot because Aurelia and Kha'Zix all use like very similar items to what Senna would use. So if the Socialite Axe is in the back line, you could go ahead and do either this version or the other version, or just splash different units depending on what you hit during the game. That's why the Socialite comp has always been good because you could flex the carry, so you don't have to spend as much gold to get a decent power spike in your comp. Uh, going on into the next build, we have Mutant Carries. The ZZ Rod stuff is still doing pretty decently. I've seen a lot of Cho'Gath carries. I've seen a lot of Colossus carries. I see people going like three Colossus with Cho'Gath carry. That has actually been like pretty strong. So definitely try that out. Cause so with mutants, kind of like the the whole game is kind of your oyster, right? There's so many different things to try depending on what mutant buff you have. Uh, but right now, I think the most fun one to do is definitely the Colossus version, where you go like three Colossus with Cho'Gath, and um, you could fit in three mutants to try to complement him there. Uh, onto the next builds, we have B tiers. We're not a bruiser. This one's still pretty solid. Uh, I believe I have two versions up here. One is like the more late game version, one's the more early game version. And then there's also a scholar version. You just run four scholars with Renata and you run just as many bruisers as you can fit into the comp. So this is, of course, all going to depend on the dragon egg that you get because you are going to be getting trait bonuses from that. And obviously, if you could reach deep into a certain trait because of that, you go ahead and do that right away. Uh, the only really weird part about Renata and why she's a little lower is because Morello Namicon got nerfed. But honestly, I've been seeing a lot of high level players play her and they've been doing pretty well with that. However, I will say that everywhere else, like everywhere that's not like top 20 challenger or top 25 challenger, people are not seeing that great results with Renata. So it definitely is higher skill cap than other compositions right now. So moving on to the next build, we have something with lower skill cap, Syndicate Ash Reroll. This one is really, it's literally the opposite of the Renata build. Doing really well in everywhere except like the highest level right now, uh, but not being played so much there because Reroll is just a little bit less seen the higher you go up. But obviously like if you're just trying to climb, this comp is perfectly fine. You do 
you can do this or the Talon. You could do the reroll Ash or the reroll Talon, depending on what units you're getting that game. And just like pretty much force only reroll and get all the way to Masters. I believe I have a video on that. You can even get all the way to Challenger spamming only one comp. I believe I have a video of like unranked to Masters using reroll only. So I'll try to leave a card here on the top right if you guys are interested in seeing that. Um, but this comp is really easy. You just go to level six, reroll for Ash three. Um, and then find some time to all in as with all reroll builds. And then, yeah, you are just good to go right there. Uh, and if you can get Morgana three star, that is also a big bonus. But right now it's a little hard to get Morgana three because all the enchanter players are taking all your Morgana. So uh, I wouldn't really bank on this so much in this patch. Next build we have up is the scrap Aurelia build. Uh, this one is with four striker, four scrap, but you could also go for six scrap depending on how the game is going. And of course, with the extra emblems right now, you could get six scrap pretty easily. I actually see six scrap pretty often. Uh, so if you do manage to get that, go ahead and use it. But this comp is just abusing the Frozen Heart Echo, of course, and then just using Aurelia carry, just as you would in any other Aurelia comp. Uh, not too much to say about this. This is like standard leveling. You're going for four cost carry, put her on the Socialite Hex, etc., etc. Next build we have up is the Arcanist build. Uh, you could do Malzahar, Victor, or Ari carry. I feel like Victor carries the best right now because... I don't know. Malzahar just doesn't hit the same because Morello got nerfed. Ari, same thing. Morello not as good on her. And also, I just haven't felt the power from Ari. I moved her Syndicate build down to the C tier. Um, I'm just really not feeling her right now. But Victor definitely very powerful. You just have to get to level 9 to get him to 2 star. Or like get him at 1 star at level 8 is perfectly fine. Uh, you just use Malzahar or Ari as the item holders until then. Um, but lots of different ways to play this comp. And if you guys want to read all the stuff on the site, you can head on over to my website at bunnymuffins.lol slash meta. Um, I pretty much update it every week on Fridays. And I also post a video here. So if you do want notifications for that, go ahead and subscribe below. But moving on to the next comp, we have Sniper Jin. Sniper Jin, he's been hit a little bit. So a lot of people have been focusing more on the misfortune version where they do misfortune reroll i've actually seen a ton of people do this so if you are going snipers don't just tunnel vision on Jin. misfortune is very viable as well and she does pop a lot of people so what you want to do if you're going for misfortune 3 you want to do a reroll at level 7 because she's a three cost unit and if you're playing for Jin, you just do standard leveling but both versions are fine it just depends what type of items you're getting let's say you're going for Jin, and then you get a bunch of rods and tears Maybe you pivot into a Misfortune comp because uh, obviously she uses those items pretty well. But that is the good thing about the Sniper build. You could go into two different carries and kind of just be doing fine just from that. Also, you have the late game insurance of getting a Zeri, so you could always move into a Zeri carry later on. Moving on into the next build, we have Warwick reroll. So Warwick, they actually preemptively nerfed him because they were afraid of the Chemtech trait being too strong. But I really do enjoy the 7 Chemtech build. You just need a spatula to kind of get that. In. And that's what you get from the emblems from the eggs, which is obviously really good. Um, so if you are going for reroll Warwick, you probably do want to get that trait item. If not, you're going to have to run a lot of the bad Chemtech units to reach 7. But if you do get it, it's really worth it. I've also seen a lot of people use Trindomir carry. Uh, so do experiment with that as well. It's a little more difficult to get though, because I feel like you don't really have time to get Trindomir 3 star because if you're going for Warwick 3 star, you kind of run out of gold by the time you hit Trindomir. That I wouldn't really consider him like a main carry because you're mainly focused on Warwick in the first parts of the game. But definitely like an easy comp to play if you guys get a lot of Warwicks and it's still very solid right now even though it's in the B tier. Next comp up, we have Striker. So, ah, Sivir versus Aurelia. I prefer the Aurelia version right now. Uh, Sivir main carry, Sivir just doesn't feel as good anymore. I'm not really sure why, but Aurelia always hits hard. It's pretty much just a mix of the Striker Socialite version. You could add other stuff as well. They all work fine and dandy. You just need the right items on each of your characters. So in general, when you're playing TFT, you want a mix of healing, damage, and damage like speed. So if you're playing ability power, damage speed would be something like mana regeneration. And then the power would be like ability power. And then you also have crit modifiers. And then healing is stuff like spell vamp or lifesteal. 
So in attack damage comps, you have attack speed, attack damage, critical strike chance, and like lifesteal. You always want to mix those buckets together instead of going all in on one thing. Like if I had like three death blades on Aurelia, that wouldn't really do as much damage as like a mixture of things such as a Last Whisper, Infinity Edge, and a Bloodthirster because, because it's just the way the math works in this game. If you multiply things together, it's going to be higher than just stacking one trait and adding it up there. Um, but yeah, solid comp, standard leveling for this. Uh, we've been playing this for a while, so not too much else to say there. Um, for the Z tiers, like uh, Reroll Brand, Syndicate R8, they're just doing really, really badly right now. Um, there's just really not too much else to say. Like the meta just kind of kicked them out. Uh, you're welcome to try them if you want, but right now none of the good players are playing them that often. Data wise, they're doing horribly, so I would personally stay away from these comps, but. If you guys really like them, like go ahead and keep playing them. Just, uh, <laughs> well, you do so at your own risk, you know. Um, for carousel item priority right now, I really like tier starts because they give me redemption for the enchanter builds. Um, if you're going for any of the IE Last Whisper builds, obviously, if you're if you're going for any of the IE Last Whisper Giant Slayer builds, obviously, like bow, glove, and sword are all pretty good there. Um, but yeah, I'd say like pretty much just. If you have a comp in mind or like one or two comp in minds, just look at what items are most important to those things and then just get that item to start with. So it's like, for example, the innovator comp, uh, both Jace and Jin really like attack damage and attack speed items and the crit items. So bow, sword, or glove would be something that you'd want to do. If you're going for like a Talon reroll comp, the most important item on Talon is probably the Infinity Edge, but he also likes RFC and the Quicksilver, so maybe you go for a Glove or Bow if you're going for that comp. Um, so you could always just adapt your starting item to whatever comps you're like really going for or what you're comfortable with um, to kind of choose what item is best for you. Uh, but just to sum up up here, so obviously the extra trait thing that you get from the eggs is pretty impactful on the meta. Also like the recent patch, uh, in case you guys missed it, there is a link on this site for that too under the patch review here. Uh, they nerfed Morello Namicon, so healing is just incredible on Enchanter. So that's pretty much why they're S tier right now. But let me know down in the comments what you guys are playing right now. And also, again, don't forget the egg giveaway on Twitter. Um, all you have to do is follow, like, and retweet. And you have a chance to win 20 eggs for your account. I believe they're like Series 1 and Series 2 eggs for that. Most importantly, guys, I believe the next set is coming out in less than a month now. So definitely mark your calendars for that. I think it is June 7th when it's coming out or June 8th, somewhere around there. But it'll also be on the public beta environment on the 25th. So yeah, set 7 should be pretty big, should be pretty wild with all the dragons and stuff. Um, but keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, but that's going to be it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that and I will see you all later. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe, and of course smash that like button. Each like is an LP I gained before the next video.